Yo, what is happening guys? It's Squiz and today I'm going to show you how to download Realm of Thrones and put it in your banner load mod list and so you guys can play it for yourselves at home and I'm going to show you all the mods that I use as well. So first of all, I am pretty much going to show you how to install Game of Thrones, uh, the Realm of Thrones mod. So I always download off Nexus mods and never download on the workshop. A lot of people do, but it can ruin the game when the workshop mods update or the game updates and it doesn't work properly if you know what I mean I can't really explain what I'm trying to say but now what I do is when I usually do play my playthroughs I always make sure when I've downloaded new mods and start a new playthrough I make sure I keep to the same uh, banner load mode uh, update basically it's right click on banner load before you do anything right click on banner load Make sure you're on 1.2.9. That's the most updated version from now. And make sure you keep it on that version. If you click on none, that means the game will automatically update. But if you click on that, it won't update. And it won't ruin your mods if you don't update your mods as well. So you don't have to worry about banner load crashing your mods from it automatically updating. But yeah, if it, if it does update and you want to go back to it, you right click on it. Go to properties. Go to betas. Then you go down to 1.2.9. That's the that's the version I'm on. That's the version I'll be playing uh, for a while. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the uh, Realm of Thrones mod. So if you don't know how to download off Nexus mod, it's pretty simple. You click on Files, and you should download this one. One the, the Realm of Thrones for banner load 1.2.9. So you click manually download. It will tell you you need these two additional files. You will need these two additional files as well. And there's other two files that I will show you that you need, from, in my opinion, that you need with Realm of Thrones as well. So download them too. Make sure you've downloaded them. Download this. So you press download. Click on slow download and it should start downloading. Obviously, I'm not going to download that because I've already got it downloaded. Then what you need to do is once you've downloaded them mods, I will show you what other mods you need to download actually. So you need to download Harmony. You need to download UI Extender. You need to download Mod Configuration Menu. And you need to download Butterlib. And I've got another mod that I'm going to show you that you should download as well. It's a Nova's Banner Lord Launcher. It makes so life so much easier. But for now, we're just going to be downloading these. And I'm going to show you how to run Game of Thrones. So once you've downloaded them uh, five mods, what you need to do... You do this with every mod, by the way. Don't just extract it straight away. Put it straight into your models, modules folder. Do not do that. What you need to do, you need to right-click on this. You need to go short... Oh, no, you need to go to Properties then you need to click this unblock and you need to press apply you need to do that with every single mod you download so i'm going to be doing that now even though i've already got these mods installed but yeah this is what you need to do to every mod what it is windows thinks windows sometimes doesn't extract uh files inside of the folders that you've downloaded because it might think it's a threat to your computer and think it's a virus well this stops it from blocking them files and it unblocks them files and it extracts every file that's in the mod in the folders in the mods so once you've done that you need to find out where your banner load is uh, installed you need to find out where it's installed so mine's usually in steam apps common program files steam steam apps common mountain blade to banner load then what you need to do you need to go in your modules folder this is where all your mods have stored. All these are my mods that I've got installed. You're, if, if you've not got no mods installed, you should only have a couple there. That it's normal standard like uh, multiplayer, native, and custom battles, and uh, birth and death. I think that's the only four folders that you should see. And story mode, sorry, five. And sandbox, six and seven. Sorry, there's, there's a few more. <laughs> Anyways, ignore that. Uh, once you have opened your modules folders, you need to... Double click on each of these mods. Uh, so for Harmony, for instance, uh, it already has a modules folder. So you need to double click on the modules folder again. And you drag that into your modules folder. I'm not going to be doing that because I've already got them installed, as you can see. Um, I do actually need to delete some of these. Some of these mods are old, but yeah. Um, so yeah, you do the same. So UI extender, you go inside to the modules. Sometimes... 
some mods will say modules you need to actually find this file and you drag that in so like i said mod configuration open the modules folder and boom install just drag install that's all you have to do and it should extract and install fire you can extract these then so for instance you can extract these now boom done that's extracted now you could open your modules folder go into uh, modules and you can drag that into there but if you do do the extraction make sure you open this open this and drag that into there now, Realm of Thrones, I'm going to show you a couple of things with Realm of Thrones. So, Realm of Thrones, you need to up, up, uh, open this. So, once again, let me just do that again. You need to open this. Forget about WinRAW if you've got WinRAW or Zip, I don't know. Uh, WinRAW is free, just ignore it, all the pop-ups you get. Uh, then you need to open this folder. You need to open the modules folder. Like I said, everything has modules folder. You need to drag all of these four folders in to your mountain blade 2 banner lord modules folder once you've done that you will have all of these downloaded now if you do want to make youtube content i suggest you follow what i'm going to be doing now so if you do want to make youtube content you need to go on to rot core you need to go on to music and you need to type in theme and there should be a few files. I've already deleted them, but there should be a few files here. Everything with theme in the name needs to be deleted because it will be copyrighted music. So if you delete all their music, uh, all the uh, ones that say theme in it, delete it. If that's if you want to make YouTube content and you want the music inside Bannerlord. The only one uh, music file that is, is not copyrighted is the actual theme uh that i have made so let me just see so rrt main theme you click on this this is what i've made i made it for myself and i made it for the realm of thrones team and i let them use it so yeah you you don't have to delete that one because it's not copyright at all Remix and stuff like that to music is usually not uh, copyrighted. So you should be good with that Anyways, let's carry on with the installation video uh, <laughs> So yeah, once you've downloaded these mods Boom 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 once they've installed into your modules folder. You should be able to open uh, Up your banner load. So what you want to do you want to upload you want to press play on banner load There we go. Now you'll see see the screen. It'll say single player that you need to click on mods and you, these are the four mods that I've told you to install as well as Realm of Thrones. So you need to make sure that these are highlighted. All four of these are highlighted. Scroll down and you need to go down to Realm of Thrones. You need to make sure that these are in this order as well. You need to make sure they're highlighted. So that's all you need for Realm of Thrones. Obviously these other mods you could highlight as well if you want other mods, but I'm going to show you a different way how to do the other mods, but bear with me. So once once you've uh, highlighted all them, you press play, press confirm, and it should be good to go. It should work for you. I will say as well that this loading screen might be here for a while because it's, first, it's loading all the assets, all the assets for the Realm of Thrones, Last time, I think it took me about 10 minutes. So I had to wait 10 minutes before the game actually loaded. So you, you have to bear with it. You have to bear with it. So some, and sometimes again and again and again, it will take a while for it to load, but you just need to be patient. And there you have it. Realm of Thrones is now loaded. And now you can go into the realm. Create your character, blah, blah, blah. You know what it is. And obviously, like I said, this music, I actually made myself. And I made it for the Realm of Thrones team as well to have and so they can use it in their, in, in their mod. I'm going to quickly exit this because I want to show you guys that other mod as well. So the other mod I have installed is this Narvos Bannerlord Launcher. So, so you need to basically install this into your Mountain Blade Bannerlord folder do not click on the modules click on the normal mountain blade folder and that's where you'll find this setup once that is installed you can then 
easily, instead of clicking all the mods, you can easily create your own presets of mods, so you don't have to keep selecting and unselecting mods from that rubbish Mountain Blade to Bannerlord launcher that you get when you press play on the game. Instead, you can use this. So I've already created a Realm of Thrones mod list, and I'm going to show you my mods right now. So if you want to pause it, pause it so you can take a look at my mods. If you want to copy my mods list, it's entirely up to you. A lot of these mods, they may seem outdated, but some of them work. All these mods, as far as I know, work. Ignore the ones on the right. These are the other mods that are in my uh, modules folder that I've not got installed, like Eagle Rising, for instance, and that such and such. Uh, but yeah, so basically, these are, this is my mods, and this is the mod load order as well, so make sure it's in this order if you're going to play with uh, these uh, mods. So, uh, yeah, Realm of Thrones, obviously, at the bottom, pretty much. Um, Butterly, uh, Ham, uh, Harmony, Butterly, UI, UI Extender, and Mod Configuration at top. Then all the normal native um, module folders below that. Then after that, I've got CC banners. That gives you more banners uh, when you first create your character. You can you can have more banners there's an actual uh, targaryen banner there as well so if you wanted to use that there's a targaryen banner inside cc banners realistic banner mod i would not play this game without realistic banner mod it is so good it makes ai fight so much better instead of all charging into each other they'll actually uh, back off and defend and block with the shields better instead of all just clumping up in a big mess there'll be lines of troops you know what you know what realistic battle mod is realistic weather mod not sure if this still works you don't really need to do this now. Uh, Bannerlord has been updated, but I still have it in. And it still works for me. RTS camera. You might not be able to find this on Nexus mod. Um, I will have to have a look into that for you guys. Um, but if anybody wants the RTS camera, let me know. I'll try and find a download link for it. I'm sure I sent Jackie Fish the link, and he's using that in his videos right now. So, um, yeah, I'll have to find that link again um, for whoever uploaded it, and you guys can... Use the RTS camera as well. I might put it in the description if I remember to do that as well. Battle size. Basically, battle size, instead of having it 500 versus 500, they now can be... Uh, so, there's only 1,000 troops on the battlefield. This can make it over 2,000 uh, troops on the battlefield at one time. I like this mod. It does lag your game, though. So, just bear in mind, you don't have to use this mod. You can wait for the reinforcements to come in. But you can have a 1,000 versus 1,000 troops, armies, and it is epic. It does lag a lot on siege battles, I will tell you now. It does lag a lot on siege battles. Diplomacy. Right, if you want to download Diplomacy mod, I will tell you after I've shown you all my other mods. Dismemberment, basically limbs, heads, arms, you can chop them off. Yep, they, they, they come off. Uh, better time, so better time is an extra fast forward button in the campaign map, so it can go quicker. You can adjust it. Improved garrison, you can... Get recruiters to go around and recruit in your garrison for you from local villages. So they will recruit troops, then bring them back to the garrison for you. It's pretty cool. I have it. Don't really use it that often, to be fair, but I do use it every now and again. Distinguished service. Basically, when you get a uh, a troop that's max tier, like tier 6, and he does well in battle, he will get a chance to be a companion. I'm not sure if this works with this current version yet, because I've not come round to it yet but yep that's it obviously the realm of thrones at the bottom then you've got a settlement icon redesign i actually uploaded this to uh nexus mods so there's two mods you need to download for that so let me actually search that up right now so that's settlement icon redesign so you need to download that mod right once that's downloaded you need to download this and basically it goes from this to having uh, the green, uh, like when you're allies with someone, this is green. The rest are just normal standard white color. But it goes from that. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to press back, press back. It goes from that to this. So as you can see, I'm allies with uh, the Lannisters at this point. So their names are now in red with a green outline, letting them know that I'm allies with them. Then the the Riverlands are like a uh, blue color. The Veil is like a light blue color, and Dragonstone is a black color. So we have all this. It's all different type of colors for each faction. Some colors are the same in some factions, but yeah, you, you know it is. You get the drift. But yeah, you can download that as well, and that yeah, that works um, perfect fine. So basically, what you want to do is you want to download the files 
Oh, you go on to uh, Banner Lord, you go on to Modules, and you scroll down to Settlements Icon Redesign. Now, when you download this uh, one for the Realm of Thrones, you need to replace this Mac config. So you need to press Delete. You need to download the one for the Realm of Thrones, and you need to put that inside here. And that will config the Settlement Icon Redesigns to Realm of Thrones. Um, I can't remember who made this. Someone in their Discord community made it. Um, so I would love to give them a shout out for the uh, effort that they put into making uh, the Realm of Thrones version for the settlement icon redesign. So once you've got all these mods downloaded and once you've sorted out your list, you can now press play. And just like that, all your mods are loaded. All the mods are saved. If you play other mods as well, you don't have to go through the menu. You can actually save them on them presets. So that works. So like I said, um, I had, I had used to have this Total War Bannerlord mod uh, installed. So obviously, as you can tell, this is a Total War Bannerlord uh, mod. I don't play this anymore because I need to update the uh, the files for it. Uh, yeah, but basically, the, yeah, that, that's um, that's the different ones. So you can actually save that preset. As you can see, Realm of Thrones is not there. But then you can go back to the Realm of Thrones one, and there we go. Uh, Eagle Rising one, I've made an Eagle Rising one as well. So yeah, it's just a lot easier than just unticking and checking all the boxes. This will guarantee you've made sure you've, you're loading the right mods. So I'm going to show you something real quick. It's something to do with Diplomacy mod as well. So if you do want to play with the Diplomacy mod, I'll show you real quick what you need to do. So, if you're playing with the diplomacy mod and you've got static wars on, you need uh, you press play again with the static wars, and there should be a warning sign saying that there's a conflict with two mods. Realm of Thrones have done this so people can actually use diplomacy with Realm of Thrones. As you can see, mod incompatibility incompatibility. I can't even pronounce that word. Detected. Diplomacy detected. To ensure smooth experience, you should disable either Diplomacy War Extortion settings or Static Wars. Static Wars, like I said, they're always at war. Factions are always at war with each other on that list. So I disabled Static Wars because I liked the uh, mod options for the Diplomacy. You can, you can chip, put that back on if you really wanted to and do it like that. But it, it just might conflict, it might not work properly, so you need to disable one or the other. Yeah, so guys, if that's if that's the kind of video you wanted, I know some of you have been asking, oh, what, how do you download your mods? What mods have you got? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's it. That's that's all my mods. And uh, like I said, just pause where I showed the mods on the screen. In fact, I'll show them you again right now. Uh, I'll scroll down so you can see. So just pause and just be like, right, he's got this mod, he's got that mod. Zoom out on map, that just zooms out. You know what I mean? It says what it says, it just sound, zooms out a bit more extra. But yeah, yeah, th these are all my mods. Yeah, that's, that's it, guys. And it works perfectly fine. I've not crashed on this playthrough yet. But, not gonna lie, guys, you may, you may find crashes. You may find crashes, so... Just bear, with, bear that in mind. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video and it has been helpful for your installation guide for Realm of Thrones, then please make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe because I want more subscribers. I want to hit that 10K end of the year. That's what I want to do. So make sure you subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.